Hello everyone and welcome to another Reddit edit episode. In this one, what we're going to do is we are going to create this CRT effect. It's super simple, super quick. Uh, somebody on Reddit obviously asked for this and uh, we're going to do it. So I've got some uh, footage of me playing Skyrim here and we're going to use that as our uh, base footage. So we're going to go into Fusion. And then under uh, effects, we're going to look for scan lines. So effects, we're going to search, scan. This should be in the free version. I'm fairly certain. If not, I'll show you uh, basically that you could create this on your own super easy. But let's take a look. So I'm going to add my scan line. No, it's you don't merge the scan line. You put the scan line in. There you go. And automatically, right off the bat, we get some scan lines, some bars. What we have here is the we've got the line frequency. So how many bars we're going to have. We can control the sharpness. We can control the width of the bars. Uh, the colors, though we're not going to play with that, and then the composite mode. Now, I'm going to show you something, just in case. I th I'm fairly certain this is in the free version, but just in case, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and uh, show you what the scan lines are. It is basically just a black and white image with an overlay composite mode. We could create this with two or three nodes from scratch, and it would be exactly the same. Um, so if it's not in uh, DaVinci Resolve free, you could recreate this with two or three nodes in like two seconds. It would be super simple. It would just be a question of creating a, a white plane, adding a, a black to it, and then just repeating that. Super easy. So let's turn that off. Now, if we take a look, this is looking pretty good. Uh, you can see we see the lines on top of the on top of the white part. But let's say, if we take a look here, you can see on the white parts, on the really bright parts, it's not really having an effect. It looks like that text isn't being cut out. If we go back over here, you can clearly see that it's being it's affecting these symbols, right? So going back to it. What we can do is, uh, let's say we add some text. It'll be easier to see with text. I'm going to add some text. I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to add some text to this. I'm going to leave it white. I'm going to say this is uh, Skyrim. There we go. This is Skyrim. And you'll notice, even though it's underneath the scan lines, we're not really getting much of an effect on it. It really looks like that text is like slapped on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our scan line and we're going to change our composite mode. Uh, I could go into like a complicated explanation of the math behind overlay modes and why it's doing this. It's basically math. Uh, we're not going to go into it. It gets pretty complicated. I'll put actually in the description a link to a video that talks about nodes and you know how they're not that scary and he goes on a bit of a rant about uh, composite modes that's really interesting so I'll put a link in the description so these overlay modes just control how images are merged together and uh, you've got like normal which is basically don't try to sum up the the pixels just right over it um, Add, subtract, blah, blah, blah. It's all math. It's, well, basically everything is math, but this is all math. The one that defaults is overlay, but I'm going to use multiply. And multiply now gives us kind of what we're looking for. But you'll notice the image, here we go, went really dark. Right? It's, it got much darker. So what we're going to do is we are going to compensate for that darkness with a brightness and contrast node. 
And then with this brightness and contrast node, we're just going to increase this until it kind of gets closer to the original brightness. I think that's pretty close, right? That's looking, oh, maybe just a little bit too much. Yeah, that looks good. So now we're closer to the original brightness. And we're almost done. Uh, I'm going to grab that text. I'm just going to stuff it in the corner so we can see one of the effects a bit more. The next thing that we need is the curvature, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add a lens distortion. Hopefully that's also <laughs> in the free version. Uh, we're going to put a lens distortion in here. And we are going to distort. We're going to go to the distortion model. You can just leave it to the classic LD model. And then distort the crap out of it. And you'll notice it's now distorting the image, giving it a bit of a curvature. Now, the traditional old school screens uh, were more square. You didn't really have widescreen CRT screens. Uh, so this doesn't look a 10 thick. You, now you need something that's more like a 4x3. Uh, but it gives us the effect, and it's basically the same as the sample image. They were also using a widescreen. And that's it, really. If we go back over here, we've got the effect. And we've got this nice YA, you know, old CRT. This is a good way to recreate old security monitor footage. Um, if you're trying to distort an image, like if you're doing a screen replacement on a CRT screen, this would be the way to really give it that, that old distorted pincushion pin cushion look. Uh, and that's it. Hopefully this was useful to you guys. And uh, like I said, if you want to learn more about blending modes, check out in the description. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.